Good day, viewers. How are you this fine weekend? Me, I find myself looking at major stories around the world and saying, I see some echoes here. I see some sameness. I see patterns being repeated. Allow me to elucidate. As far as I'm concerned, when I look around the world, uh, uh, two of the biggest stories that I've seen is one locally continues to be the same-sex marriage debate and in the US the thing that caught my eye has been the take a knee controversy started by footballer uh, Colin Kaepernick I uh, probably just pronounced his name wrong uh, which dates way back to when Obama was in power doesn't that seem like a far distant time but yeah it was only last year uh, but it seems like a different world. And these stories, though on the surface, very different, to, very, very different. One happening in America being about uh, a protest against police violence and racism, and one in Australia being about the public discourse on whether marriage equality should become law. They seem very different, but they felt the same to me. When I looked at them, what I realised is the no vote campaigners in Australia and the people who are very angry about the take a knee campaign in the US are the fucking same. They are exactly the fucking same. Which is pretty impressive when it's on such different topics. But when it comes down to it, they are the same. In Australia, where uh, we're having this absolutely ridiculous, pointless, non-binding, expensive public postal vote survey on, hey, what are people thinking about marriage equality? As a, the people pushing the no vote, uh, they're really desperate to say, okay, our saying no same-sex couples don't count as human and don't deserve basic rights, that isn't bigotry. No, 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 no. That's a thing that's something else. And all of their arguments have been nothing to do with the actual question. The actual question is completely simple and completely self-contained. Should same-sex couples have the right to marry and have their relationship be completely equal under the law. And the no campaigners have realised if they just say no they shouldn't, there is no way to take that apart from the fact they hate the queers. And so they've set all this ridiculous shit out. Whore, oh, it's about religious freedom and oh, what about mothers and fathers? And oh, political correctness, I don't want that. None of those things are true. None of those things are what the vote is about. The vote is purely and simply, is it time to stop pretending we can treat same-sex couples as less than human and less equal under the law? That is the beginning, middle and end of the vote. And when the no vote is doing nothing but talking about things apart from that, that tells you everything they need to know. They are liars, and they are hypocrites, and they are filthy fucking bigots. There is big feel like, it's okay to vote. No, sure, it's okay. It is okay for you to be a complete and utter cunt, okay? That is what you are being. You are being a vile, disgusting, bigoted piece of shit who is saying same-sex couples are less than human. They do not deserve basic human rights. Right, sure, it's okay to vote no, you have that right, and I have the right to point out you're a piece of fucking shit. I know all the no campaigners want to tie themselves in not to go, oh no, 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 I'm not saying the gay couples are less than human. I'm not saying that uh, the gays don't count and shouldn't have any rights. Except that is all you are saying. That is the sum total of what you are saying. Everything else you say is a lie designed to cover up what a hateful, bigoted piece of shit you are. And they go, oh, I'm really disturbed at what the Yes campaign is saying. They're saying if you don't vote in favour of marriage equality, you're homophobic. Yeah, by the fucking
fucking dictionary definition, you piece of shit. Oh my god, I'm so sick of all the people going, oh no, we have to have a discourse. No, 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 we have to be fair. Fuck that bullshit. Fuck that unmitigated bullshit. It's like, if someone is saying, no, no, I get to pick and choose who in this society has basic legal rights, it's like, go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. I am not letting you off. You are fucking garbage, and history will not judge you kindly, and forget about history, I won't judge you kindly now. I think you're fucking garbage, okay? There isn't even a good religious argument against same-sex marriages. They're simply isn't. People go, it says in the Bible it's an abomination. Fuck you. Unless you are an ultra-Orthodox Jew who keeps absolutely kosher and doesn't mix fabrics, uh, doesn't do tattoos, eats only kosher food, you don't get to do that. You don't get to choose one tiny fucking line out of the entire Old Testament and say, oh, the Christian, that's, that's just what God's telling me to do. No, no, because not least, see, you can't win a theology argument with me because I went to Catholic school and I spent more time studying the Bible than I did fucking mathematics in high school, okay? So I fucking know the Bible, unlike you hypocritical pieces of shit who I don't think have ever read it, and most notably, the New Testament, the actual Christian Testament, condemns you to hell. If you pick this one line from the Old Testament and say, I get to just pull that out and say I'm going to act on that and ignore all the rest and also ignore the New Covenant with Jesus, um, you are just really lucky that all your magic man in the sky stuff is bullshit because if it was true, you would be going straight to hell forever, okay? You are a worthless, disgusting, fucking hypocrite. And in Jesus' own words, I vomit you from my mouth, okay? Jesus said you're a piece of fucking shit, okay? Uh, I'm just saying what Jesus said. Um, and you are just lucky that Jesus never existed and your God is a fucking fallacy for weak-minded fucking fools, okay? Because if it was true, you'd be going straight to fucking hell. And this is what brings me to the uh, people in the US who are upset about the sports people who are making a, a non-violent, non-intrusive protest against uh, police violence and racism in the US. Started notably by the footballer Colin Kaepernick, as I said earlier, and as I also said earlier, probably just mispronounced his name, I apologise. Um, but it's really gathered steam recently with more and more sports people uh, across not just the football, also the basketball and the baseball. And when the anthem's played, either taking a knee or standing arm in arm or staying in their locker rooms, not actually coming out for the national anthem. And worthless piece of shit white supremacist cunt in chief Donald Trump's gone, oh, they're disrespecting the flag. They're disrespecting the anthem. Um, no, okay? This was never about the anthem. This was never about the flag. Uh, this was about police brutality and racism. That's what it's always about. And why Trump's upset about it is because he's a fucking white supremacist. This is not hyperbole. This is not all oh, the left. You're on the left. You're always doing... This is a simple observation of Trump's history and things he said over his life and things he continues to do now. When your fucking president says that f Nazi flag-waving white supremacists are very fine people, but a black athlete who does a non-violent, non-intrusive, pro silent protest is a son of a bitch, that motherfucker is a white supremacist. And it's no coincidence that the majority of the athletes taking a stand on this are black. That's a simple observable fact. And see, here's the thing. All the people saying, oh, I'm disgusted, you're disrespecting the flag, you're the blah, 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 blah. You're a racist fucking 
piece of shit, okay? Again, I refuse to fucking pan. I refuse to, oh, there's two sides to this story. Yeah, there are. There are two sides. The right side and the wrong side. And the racist motherfuckers who just think black people are never allowed to protest ever are fucking pieces of shit. They don't even see what hypocrites they are. And I don't know how many times I've said that. Hypocrites are what really shits me. I mean, yeah, I don't like racists and bigots, sexists, homophobes, but the ones who really shit me are the hypocrites who won't even be honest about what they're doing and what their motivation is. I tell you, it's really fucking obvious. See, people think, oh no, it's not about race. It's not about race. I'm not racist. That's not what's driving me. Yeah, it fucking is. And everyone outside of your racist fucking bubble can fucking see it, okay? You are a piece of shit. And all the people, and they say the most bizarre things like, oh, Martin Luther King wouldn't like you. Fuck you, you fucking redneck racist piece of shit. It's like people pretending that, oh no, white people always supported Martin Luther King because he was non he was a great guy. No, the overwhelming majority of white people condemned Martin Luther King, condemned the Freedom Riders, the sit-ins, the uh, uh, bloody equal rights protests of the 60s were regarded by the overwhelming majority of white Americans as a bad thing. The Negroes, they're hurting their own cause. They're hurting their own cause by standing up and saying, it's not fair what you're doing to us. They should just be quiet and we would eventually be nice to them. And I actually saw, this is how mind-blowing it gets. I saw a thing with someone on Twitter trying to explain to Martin Luther King's daughter why she was wrong. Now Martin Luther King is on record as saying his biggest enemy was not the Klan, it was moderate whites. With the Klan, they're a clear enemy. You know what they're doing. But the moderate whites, they're the ones who were keeping black people down by saying, oh, if you were just a bit calmer, you know, everything would be fine. <laughs> She's like, if whites weren't actively supporting people pushing for the rights for black Americans, they were the enemy and they were more dangerous to the cause than the Klan were. And all these people who've created this fantasy of Martin Luther King as just being this darling that white people thought was awesome, you know, he was great. No, white people fucking hated him because he was a black guy who stood up and said, this is not cool. You know, the FBI tried to frame him for multiple things, they tried to ruin his life, they had a documented plan to try and drive him insane. They called him a terrorist, okay? People who say dumb as shit things, as like, oh, Martin Luther King wouldn't support black rights, Martin Luther King would think Black Lives Matter is stupid. No, Martin Luther King would think you're a racist fuck who's worse than the Klan, okay? The Black Lives Matter movement is broadly speaking a non-violent movement doing a very obvious things like, well, you know what? When white cops murder unarmed black people with impunity, there's a problem. And you say, well, you can't have protests in the street. That's bad. Or you can't even have non-violent protests in the street. That's bad. Oh, and also, no, no, sports people can't have a silent protest. That's bad. Oh, and people, you know, like, doing their, their stage play, they, ca they can't stand up and say, hey, you know, we're trying to make more. No, what these people are saying is black people aren't allowed to protest ever. White people are the arbiters, conservative white people are the arbiters of what's allowable. And that's just bullshit, hypocrisy and bigotry. And that's the same as the no voters in Australia and the marriage equality debate. They're saying like, oh no, we should be allowed to say, no, no, you are hateful, awful bigots. And you don't get to say, I'm being hateful by calling you out for being a piece of shit. Because that's just a factual observation. You're a piece of fucking shit. You are worthless, contemptible garbage. And if you are one of these morons who's stupid enough to type the comment, I think you're just a little You are stupid. You are pathetic, worthless garbage. I despise you. I will not pander to filth 
like you. History will judge you for the garbage you are, but I'm not waiting for history. I judge you now. You're a piece of fucking shit.